joined by Nicola Carey, Erin Osborne, and Bisma Maruf. Uh, Nicola, going to come to you first. Obviously, things are very raw, having lost that semi-final. Um, what went wrong today? Um, oh, look, I think, you know, they obviously batted really well. Um, Chamari and um, Danny came out there firing, and um, I thought our bowlers actually created a few opportunities, and, and we could have taken them their wickets um, early on, but, yeah, we, we didn't quite take those opportunities, which is proved quite costly in the end. So, um, yeah, they, they batted really well. It was a really nice wicket. They put on a really nice total. And um, I thought our girls came out um, with really good intent. Their jeans and um, dunks especially were really good for us for a good 10 or so overs there. Um, yeah, we, we lost a few wickets in the middle, which sort of halted things a little bit for us. And, um, yeah, it proved to be a bit too much for us in the end. And do you think the toss played a big part in that? Um, oh, not really. Like, I think it's a 50-50 call. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to bat and bowl at some point in the game. Um, Obviously, we've batted a fair bit first um, leading into this final, and this was, I think this was probably the second time we fielded um, first. So, look, I think it was a really nice wicket. They, they put on a big total, but I, I thought it was very gettable on that wicket, and um, we only came up, what, 30 odd short at the end. So, um, I thought we gave it a good crack, and um, I thought it was a pretty good game at the end. Yeah, and Erin, um, how proud are you of your team? Obviously, it's difficult at the moment, but made it to the semi finals, top the table to this point. What do you have to say to them and to Nick as captain? Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely proud. Um, you know, we, we had a rough start. Um, we went back and we reflected on that and to, to finish on top of the table um, from our, from game one where I think we were rolled for 75. And um, I think the, the next sort of games, we continue to learn and evolve as a, as a group and extremely proud of how everyone played. I think that was the great thing about Team Spirit. Everyone actually contributed um, to our wins. And um, I think, you know, the world will be better for seeing... Um, in the likes of Nataya and Natakan from Thailand. Um, they were really important players to our group. Um, Chaya today came out with the bat and struck it really well. So um, it was just really pleasing to see that everyone had their opportunity and I think performed on a, on a really big stage. Yeah, and Bisma coming to you, obviously, like we just mentioned, those names coming through. Who's shone for you in this spirit side? And also, what's it been like to be captain by Nicola? Because she just she's taken this role and not done a lot of captaining in her time, but been absolutely amazing for this side. She has been amazing. She has kept it really well uh, for our side. And I think it was more than our day today. Uh, but the way we have played throughout the tournament was amazing. And credit to her especially. And how she has performed as a captain, it's uh, amazing to see. And of course, the jeans, I think it's an upcoming player. Uh, it's uh, very brilliant, brilliantly played today as well. I think um, she is an associate player, which will be, you know, upcoming in women's cricket and um, I think she's brilliant throughout. And what will you take away from this tournament as a whole? I mean, you still got third place playoff as well. What will you take away when you go back to your national side? And there's um, a lot to learn uh, from the international players and the associate players as well. Definitely how uh, the, they, uh, especially the international players, how they approach the game and their, what their mindsets are. I think that will be, uh, I'll be taking and it definitely will be uh, Talk to our girls, and uh, inshallah, we'll be you know uh, impl implementing implementing uh, this uh, attitude in our team as well. And obviously, we can't ignore that baby Fatima has been around, and we're seeing what's been going on in this tournament. Now, how great is it for young girls all around the world to see a tournament like this and be able to grow up knowing that cricket is for girls from anywhere all around the world? She is enjoying. She is enjoying everyone's love, and she has got so much love here. And uh, I'm very much thankful and uh, yeah I think she'll be very proud when uh, she'll see her memories <laughs> in the pictures so yeah uh, for me she is you know getting more attention for, uh, from everyone so it's a bit you know uh, a <laughs> big problem for me when I get back to home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Erin how much of a challenge has it been to sort of you know come into a team that different languages, different cultures, different backgrounds, different experiences, and to bring that together in a side that has been so good so fit throughout this tournament? Oh, yeah, it's been a massive learning curve for me. Um, and I'm really fortunate to have some really important players, sort of Nick Harris mentioned taking on captaincy for the first time. She played a really big role in pulling this team to give, together. Bisma, Sophie Eccleston, and Sophie Dunkley, um, they played a really big role in pulling this team together and everyone brought, brought into into how we wanted to play the cricket, the brand of cricket and um, honestly I think we just had a lot of fun along the way and 
while winning was all, is nice and you want that, I think the enjoyment factor was what actually helped us and, and the culture we sort of created was one of learning and, and okay to make mistakes and I think that culture actually enhanced the group coming together and, and that enjoyment factor. Uh, Nick, what's the biggest thing you're going to take away from this tournament as a whole, if you can pick one? Oh, I don't know. It's been, like, to be honest, it's been a really enjoyable two weeks. Um, yeah, to bring a lot of different people together from all different types of countries um, and to, you know, get together for a couple of weeks and go out there and play a few games for you together has been really exciting. Um, learned heaps of the girls. Even we had a session yesterday and it was really interesting hearing about everyone's journeys and um, their stories of how they got into cricket and, um, yeah, even their struggles through cricket, which has been really cool. So um, I think it's been a, a massive learning curve, as Oz said. And, um, yeah, it's definitely an experience that I've never had before and, and certainly one that I won't forget. And you feel like you've made some new friends for life from all over the world. You've got somewhere to stay whenever you go anywhere now. Yeah, I'm about to book my Tiki tour uh, around the world trip now that COVID's gone. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. Like, there's obviously, I think actually Dunks has gone around saying that she's got a holiday destination in all these different countries, which is really cool. So, um, I mean, if anyone wants to come home, they can come over for dinner as well. I'll happily cook you some dinner. But um, look, it's been really cool getting to know everyone. And um, yeah, hopefully we can do it again. Amazing. Well, you still got third place playoff tomorrow. So still some game time involved. But I'm sure you're bored of talking to me now. Um, I'll let you go. Enjoy your evening. Get together as a team. Commiserations today. But we've absolutely loved having team spirit involved this year. Thank you. Thank you.